Oh, let's begin. Actually, weeping bulges of the site would be terrifying. However, oh, that's the wrong way, and we're meant to go this way. Oh no, back down we go. And when they first said, Daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were how to the sun and fall and slop, to fall and slop. And they were inseparable, always together, one soul in two bodies, and my love was all consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood. And I come for you now, my darling boys. Said the priest, not the father. Oh, fucking hell, dodgy. Stop. No authorized persons to enter this facility by order of the management. Yep, we're getting more into the beast lair because they're trying to fucking stop anyone from seeing them. And we came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece. Oh, this and is. You went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them. And then you That's what we read. We did, yeah. It was fun, wasn't it? For your children, Magnus, to spare them the world you have created for us all. Well, I'm doing it more for the children, but yeah, go on. Please yourself. Right, don't need the lights on now. Lights fact. In case there's a little, little piggy. Actually, no, that's not. There it is! There's the main event. What a machine. Oh, so that's a really, like, weird lift button. Christ, I didn't know we talked like this. Is we always talk like this? Have I missed that every time because the music was loud and now there's no music? And we talk like this, do it? Oh, hello! I do say that. Oh, yeah, sir. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn all. To save them. So is that our voice or is the other one? Because that one sounds a lot more like our voice. Oh, unless that's the person these kids really are. Because I don't think they're our kids. I bet you the ending's that they're not our kids. Or well, there'll be a bit in it that they're not our kids. Or maybe they were our kids and they were adopted. And thus, they begin to savagely strike every person. Looking for their real daddy. Until! <laughs> There we go. Now you can get shit scared too. Oh. What did that do? Let's turn that back off, shall we? Turn it off? Yeah. Turn it off. Oh, we can't. Wiggly stick stuck. Oh. Oh, it's a horn! Uh, 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 uh. I don't get what the fucking BOOM is all about because we're only turning on lights for fuck's sake. That's got to work now, hasn't it? Alright, no. What about these? Anything I can do with these? No. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Oh god. Humane, Professor. That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The Professor. 
the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Professor! <laughs> You fucking started to bear or fucking up you. Don't you bloody worry, buddy. Oh. I don't know if we're meant to do that. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh. Careful. Careful now. Don't want to do anything you regret, would you? Oh no. Oh, that's, that's why it was going. Okay. Ah, it's not got a horn on it. I thought that, that would be so cool. I'd love to have that on like a big machine. Just like. Actually, Digger does have one, never mind. But, like, I don't know. Ah, horns are brilliant. Because they make so much noise. That's why I like them. Because they make fucking noise. Oh, that's these things going down. Okay. Good. That's good. So now is there anything new down there? I presume not, but let's have a look anyway. Even if we do ourselves some damage on the way. By rushing down there. See? It's fine. Because our health regenerates. Okay, so no, we can't do anything new. Alright. So, how is everyone doing today? Have you been made to jump yet in this? I don't know if this has been more than one episode. But if it has, have you had a jump then? Or was it this one, if you have had a jump? The bastard has been here too! This is the epicenter of his meddling. This is where it began, and this is where it, I don't know why I've done this because it's the same voice I was doing before. And this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction, and then I will render the sabotage impotent once and for all. That's what it says there. Of course it does. Of course it bloody does. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I strive forth onto these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you, my darlings. Our bubbles. Everybody now. Oh, hello, darlings. Oh, is he? What? Yeah? You called me, what do you fucking want? I'm trying to work here, kids. Now, Magnus, set them free. Oh fuck, this set is the pigs. These are the pigs. Oh my god, we've just set the pigs free, haven't we? Oh my god, what have we just done? Why did we just set the pigs free? I rise, I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and what do we set just do? the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. More bacon, please. Just kill the pig for me, yeah, would you? Bacon? That'd be nice. Boys. Boys. So sorry. They're there. Daddy! He'll have a pig face. He'll have a pig face. Ready? Ready? Oh god, that's horrible. Ugh, put that away, boys! What did I talk to you about picking up strange shit? What did I, what did I tell you? Do not pick out your heart, okay? Do not do that. No, that's naughty. Go on the fucking stairs. Go on the fucking naughty stairs, alright? You can't come in. No, you can't come in. You must sleep in the yard, bad piggy, dirty piggy, stinking, filthy animal. You bad child, you stinking child, you filth. See? Go and, go and dig a hole. Go and dig a hole. That's your punishment. Go and dig a fucking hole. Don't fall in it, though. Don't fall in it. Careful. Careful. See you later, kids. See you later. See you later, son. <laughs> Be careful, but naughty, okay? That's it. 
and emerging. I raised my head to an uncaring sun. This is past cursed this world of pain. And Fuck pain. you! <laughs> this civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Oh, hello kids. Did you put your art back in? Excuse me? Would you mind? Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realising who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart, down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this? Tiny cogwheels and clockwork, and intricate machines to serve a function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task. Can a man defined by his actions, defined by what, by find by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging his body, his mach this, this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn in a new motion? And he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century of hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Such so a professor. Oh, professor! Bugger, I can't read my journal. I have to have two hands on this ladder, you know. So it is done. The saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I can grasp of that is that moment when the world split into two pieces. And the innards of humanity fell from an orifice. Turn agape into my open, perforated heart. I wish it wouldn't fucking crop the text. Like, even that's cropped. God. I'm glad Soma was better than this, because that means they're getting better again. Steam vent access only at low pressure. Where are they? Where are my children? Where's Rachel? Oh, sorry, that's the obvious joke there. So well oh dear! Oh no no no, Senora! Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the largest steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize its source. Actually, that's us, isn't it? But drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically... Oh no, that's him, actually. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. The reconstituted fat away Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapours. Oh, God. When they rush back into the system, then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivor... Oh, that's horrible. they got to clean up the dead friends. Yeah. The splattered dead friends, too, by the sound of it. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Oh, it's fucking dark, so even if they do a good job, you fucking kill them. What was that? Automatic pressure regulate or shut off. What are you doing, little piggy? I'm not a little piggy, little human. Little you, but no more. Want my children, you 
Unholy bastard! <laughs> you unholy bastard! <laughs> it's too funny.